Hello everyone and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. It's me, JD Sensei. How are we doing? Uh time to turn everything off. Turn it off for tonight. Alright, let me get everything that needs to get done. Grab whatever concrete is ready to go. We have looks like 210 frames can be done. We have some more cooking up. Just go grab some food. I left this on all night. I didn't mean to. I need to eat like there's no tomorrow. Eh, yes, dear, I know you're upstairs. Nah, I don't really care. He is mad. He is heated. I'm up there. Uh, I'm down here eating. I'm like super duper mad. Am I being hunted? No, just sensed. Okay. Get the bonker out. And we gotta go back to our base. Alright, we're out of here. Sister, you stay over there. Nobody really cares what you're doing. Turn that on. And we're on our way. And again, we don't really care what she does. She can scream and call for the entire universe for all I care. <clears throat> Again, it's just there to facilitate me making stuff. Hi, guys. Maybe I'll see you tonight. Maybe I won't. So, overnight, uh, I basically just went and mined some uh, iron for the most part. I got to do rock, ne uh, stone next because that's going to be my uh, kryptonite for a while there. But I can do 210 more frames. And I made 500 extra frames as well. Just in case I need them. All right, we're going back to work on the base because you know the deal, guys. We work on the base during the day. First part of the day and then mid part of the day. If there's no airdrop, we uh, just move our happy ass over and go, uh, go loot a little bit and see what's around. Now we got a nice little thing. We got a mine going too, but again, all my building stuff is over there. Which I don't mind coming back here because it keeps the heat off that base I'm building over there. And I don't want to build heat over there. For those of you guys uh, who made it this far and don't know what heat generation is, that's uh, heat gen is generated by every action you do, building smelting, uh, running your equipment, forges and stuff. So that's why there's always a screamer or two around upstairs. Because they're attracted to the fact that I got three forges running and stuff like that. There's always a stream screamer around. Not a streamer. I don't stream much anymore. I may at some point, but as of right now, I don't really feel like it. Haven't in a little while. Prefer to do the pre-records. We're getting there. See, this is not like a hop, skip, and a jump away from my home base. So, or my home away from home, as the case may be. Not terribly worried about the temperature. That'll stabilize out as I'm over here. Yeah, how are you walking on over there? Sounded like wood. But yeah, uh, we got a lot of work to do. Still doing it. I threw that on there just so I know where my base is uh, when I'm walking around and doing stuff. Which is what I wanted to do. But we have plenty of concrete to continue on with our little mission. We can start getting in the rest of this stuff. All right, then let me throw this bad boy up here. There we go. OK, 
Okay, temperature's still willy-nilly, but that's fine. Keep the bonker out just to make sure nobody showed up. Take a look at our lovely little thingamabob. I want to do the inside first, just the ones I threw down. Swap this torch out for right now. Oh, you know what I forgot to bring over? I was in such a rush. I made uh, 20 lights, but I guess that's not that big of a deal right now. I needed the shovel on me. But I made 20, 20 lights, so we could have those ready to go. Let's get these done. These are the first ones I want to get done, then we'll move on with the rest. Okay. Okay, we'll head on outside. Well, we don't have to. We can just work them in here. And we'll go until we run out of concrete. Remember, we do the roof last. So, yeah. Got the basic design in. I'm freezing to death now, which is weird that the temperature is still frickin' dropping. So, and throw that on. Okay, it's going back up. We'll take off stuff as we need to. As soon as that temperature figures itself out. was a thousand gone already. Let's just go over here and pop this stuff off. It's at the top here. Might as well get those first, right? Concrete's going to be my limiting factor here, obviously, by far. Yep. Do 88 more. So, we'll start over here. Oop, well, got an extra one I didn't need to do, but it is what it is. I think I'm going to need like three or four more grand for this. Because I can. Okay, let's do the top. Thirty-six more. All right. Long one, I think. Thirty-seven. So three more, and denied. Okay. So I need that side, that side. Actually, it's not that much, and then the roof. All right. Now then, let's swap out these. Keep an eye on that. All right, let's do the internals first. Oh, 
a little bit of something down here. Start putting these in. Okay, let me get these. Got to put in the flooring. Starting to get hungry too. Which is sad, but true. All right. Let's do a little bit more. Want to go slow doing this just because we do not want to cause a fault anywhere. I have the support that it needs here whenever possible. You know, you don't want to get rid of something that you actually needed or accidentally hit something like a frame. time. All right. Oh, I was like, why isn't it putting them down? It's because I wasn't on them. Okay, let's get this out. Okay. Just checking. Thought I heard something. done here. This is why I needed all that concrete, though. Because I knew this was going to be a nightmare. The amount of stuff I got to change out. Quite a few. Counting the roof and stuff, it's going to be, yeah, about 4K, maybe 5 at most. Okay. I would assume. Normally, I would dig under the wall and put up some more. Normally. Not today, but normally. You know reinforce the uh, area there, as the case may be. Yeah, we want to get the flooring in. Okay. Again, want to go slow. Don't want to cause a ruckus anywhere. Oh. Just want to get this little bit out. A little bit at a time. Once we're done here, we're good to go. We can uh, repair that. And the center part, we're not going to super replace. We're not going to reinforce the center part because that's where we're going to be putting an escape hatch if we need one. Right around this area. Okay, we can just get rid of this. And a couple more. There we go. 
All right. Now, here comes the hard part. Need to go two down here. So let's back these off. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. So we'll go one first, and then we'll come back around the other way, because we want to put frames in as we go. Because those are what the spikes are going to sit on. And I think we're going to use wood frames for that, because it's kind of stupid to put concrete down there. I mean, I could. Why would I? waste of concrete you know oh well there's one well, might as well start it there we go keep that started so we can uh, have an idea of what needs to be done quite sure why we don't want to hit stuff but we didn't a lot of dirt too which I don't really need. Okay. Won't talk about why that wouldn't hit. All right. So if we were to put that right there, see, that would not work. I really want to pop that out of there. All right, now let's go down one more. And slowly, it's, it's going to be like this. All right, that'll work. And then the spikes will be here, and then the rest will be up there. All right, so. Uh, again, this doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be wooden. Save us some trouble upgrading. Okay, let's go as we go. And just build these in while we're at it. Easy enough. The other reason I'm doing this is, one, to save resources, because we really, again, don't need to lay down concrete down at the bottom here, because if, if they get through a spike, they're immediately going to climb onto the next spike ahead of them, so... Why would I waste concrete and let them bust through it? But right here. Oop. Okay, right here, though, we will definitely throw a little love here. Just frames. Doesn't have to be anything amazing. All right. And then we wood this up. Just because I don't like this. Just because it's annoying. Here, go there. A little too close, you know? A little too close for comfort. Oh, well, that didn't work. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade them. Doesn't even need to be double upgrade. Just one upgrade is fine. About the only thing that'll matter. Actually, I might double upgrade them because if I want to use pipe bombs. Actually, I should test that. Okay, we're going to do a little test on that later. If I remember to do it. So I want to see how much damage... I'm going to double upgrade him just because I want to see how much damage a double, uh, a double block causes. 
interest in right now. I was also thinking about how I want to egress this place, and I was thinking, you can do an old Minecraft trick. I wonder if it will work. Think about it. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw that down here just so we have an easy in egress. Ingress and egress. All right. All right. I'm going to do that more somewhere else, but what I want to do is I want to set up something relatively far away. Far enough uh, it'll work out for us. We'll do it right here. Set that there. Set that there. I also want to build a trap. No, oh, no, oh, this. Okay, go ahead and build that one for me. Let's kick these frames out momentarily. Okay. Let's throw that on top. Thank you. And we're going to upgrade them once. Oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. All right. Okay, so the reason I did that is to just set myself up later. We're going to take one pipe bomb, throw it at it and just see how that works out. Also, oh, wait. Okay. Uh, you're far enough away, I don't really care about you. I'll grab this stuff while I'm here. While I'm here. Let's start grabbing some cotton. I'll use that later. You know, I, ne I never know when I'll ne need this stuff, so I'm just going to grab some quick cotton. Just because I keep seeing it lying around, I'm like, eh, I'll do something with it. Also, I know how I feel about those. All right, back to what we were doing. This is literally just a test. I'm going to throw a pipe bomb on it because I want to see how much damage is done to that block. But what we need to do is go back to what we were doing. We're going to keep going with the dirt for right now. Don't worry about the asphalt in a bit. Okay. Just remember to do one first and then the other one just, uh, so you don't randomly put the wrong holes in. Or dig under something you didn't mean to. That can be detrimental. Make, it just makes more work for the base when you, like, for whatever reason, the shovel decides it wants to, you know, miss that because you're too close. Which makes no damn sense, but whatever. I'm not going to complain. And it's fairly easy to do this. Okay, then we want to go okay, put that in so we know where it is. And this right here. Yep. Okay. Okay, same deal. Back across the other way. Okay, let's get some stuff done here. And I may, at some point, before I put in the spike shore up uh, underneath the wall, just to see. Maybe. We'll see. You know, uh, where the walls are, I might replace those with various things. Like, uh, wood might work, but, again, using pipe bombs... For one, is a desperation move. See what I mean? It was a kind of a hole under here. Which I didn't see. Uh, we're going to need more frames. Uh, Framies. 
give me a hundred frames just to keep this legit. Okay, that'll keep that going. Uh, I am gonna have to grab some wood here too, so let's go do this and then we'll go get quickly go kill some trees and restock a bit. Again, I prefer the burned biome trees because they do not spit out seeds, which I don't need. They spit out coal. They are finite, though, whereas because they have no seeds, can't make more. So once you've used them, that's pretty much it. You can grow new ones if you get seeds and plant them, but for all intents and purposes, yeah, I don't like how this is. Like that. Okay, it's finally got hot. We know how to deal with that, which means we pop this off, pop this off, and throw on the poncho. There we go. Control that heat. You're either too hot or you're too damn cold, but usually when it gets hot, we can throw that on, and then I'll control our temperature a bit. Okay, we are out of wood, so we're going to go get some. All right, give me some big trees, please. Ah, we'll do the medium-sized ones, too, but there's plenty of trees there. A little 900s work, too. The little guys, not so much. Ah, it's a bird's nest I missed. I'll leave these living ones alone. Some of these are obviously I'm going to have already hit up. Some I haven't, but some I have. Okay, what do we got here? We did hit this one up. Another medium. Kind of a small. Got to get rid of this before I step on it. Uh, you're about mid-range. We'll take you. Again, they're not going to get bigger, so it doesn't really matter if you get rid of them and these you can always get rid of if they annoy you, as they do me. Okay, but there's better trees around here, so let me go get those and take that. Here's somebody walking. Or maybe it was just sound effect. Okay, we got another big one. We got a big one. Weird one is what this one is. Couldn't decide which way it wanted to fall. Okay, some more big boys over here. Take them all. It's triplets. There's one. Excuse you. Get out of the way. Also, this branch wiggling is weird. And another big boy right here. It is an empty bird nest, so we don't care about it. Get that one out of here. Is there anything in the trash? I already hit the trash up. Okay. Always happy to defoliate this area. Makes me a happy guy. Okay, one more. And this way, it does make it so I can see them coming. And I get a couple of these little guys that are just sitting here. They don't do anything for the environment. That make it more difficult to see when stuff's coming. So They're hard enough to see out here without this crap. And the regular trees, like I said, can stay. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Getting rid of these ugly bastards is fine. What these trees remind me of a lot, too, is if you've ever been to the Carolinas in the U.S. It reminds me of a lot of stuff, uh, trees on the coast. With a, uh, with a sea breeze. Pushes them all to one side. They kind of look like that. Because of the way they're angled. You just might as well clean all these up.
nothing else. It gets us stocked up on wood. All right. All right, not bad, not bad. They gave us 9K. All right, so we're going to do the three dirt areas first, obviously, because I don't want to do the other ones. A little bit of a lag spike there while I tried to do that. We're 42. 42 works. I don't really care. Okay, one there. One over here. These are temporary. Obviously, it's just to get in and out without there being a problem. Okay, another dirt one. Because the last one's going to need, probably need my pickaxe. Just to make it quick. Oh, well, that didn't work out. Also get some fiber out of this, which is weird. It's, uh, it's because of the regular dirt underneath. Technically, it's a thing. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely shorter. Short tear. Ten and boop and boop and boop. Okay, and then back the other way. All right. You can only bring out, I can only make about two or three K uh, cement tonight. So. That's kind of a limiting factor here. And remember, we got to do the outside, the inside. There's a ton of stuff we got to do. So, the roof. Can't forget the roof. So, yeah. It's going to be a lot of work. I'm thinking two weeks. Two in-game weeks based on how often the Horde Nights are. Seven days. It's in the name. And to be honest, last Horde Night wasn't too bad, but wasn't too good either. I mean, it was fine. It worked out, but I prefer one where there's a little element of danger. I prefer it. in your life is always a good thing. Okay. There you go. Get all these in. Now we're going to do that bomb test in about six minutes. Wanted to do it around 11 o'clock. So I've never actually used pipe bombs all that much, so I totally forget how to throw them at all. all right, I kind of want to work from the outside in, too. Instead of working towards it. That way, if something comes in here, I don't have to worry about it. Because if they come up the other way, they have to pathfind their way to me. So it's literally just a hop, skip, and a jump to get in and out. All right, now comes the fun one, which is all con um, asphalt. So this one's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, as you can see. Asphalt's a bit tougher. And no, I'm not using the auger. Uh, it might be slow, but 
the auger is way too likely to hit something it doesn't need to hit. So that's something you never want to have going. And to be honest, I could use the, the bricks anyway, so that's a thing. kind of the drawback of having to go along the uh, road here. Always weird when it decides to do the one in front instead of the one in back. It's pretty beefy. So ideally, this is where I would love them to come from. Uh, normally, if I was just doing this flat, which I'm not, but if I was, is where I would want them to come from. Right here. Yeah, if if it wasn't for the fact the auger likes to jump around in your hands, I would totally use it. But like the chainsaw, it tends to bounce, which is not conducive to not hurting my own damn base. So it's better to take the time to do it the old-fashioned way. Go slowly, neatly, not cause a frickin' problem. Okay. Cool news is, I'm doing... Uh, this is three of four episodes I'm recording, so... Because I'm playing other games, and I'm like, oh, well, after this is done, I'm clear, free and clear to play my own uh, my other games uh, for about four days. Three days, technically, because I, I try to not run out of videos for you guys in case something stupid comes up you know as you know you guys know life has finds a way to quote Jurassic Park life certainly finds a way to screw you over it definitely does this is the long part, just because it happened to be asphalt. Luckily, it should just be dirt underneath, so nothing I gotta worry about there. And we're almost done. Again, hitting the one behind it. That makes total sense. That's whatever, hit location. But eventually we'll get right to the dirt anyway, so it's a moot point. Which we are going to uh, reinforce with some concrete. Just so, uh, you know, have, they go down instead of up. You know, just like the, the other end, it'll be concrete at the end. Uh, looks like we're almost through it. I figured it, we would get started around, uh, mess with the pipe bomb at around 11. But it took a little bit longer than I thought. I thought a steel pickaxe would burn through this a bit quicker, but this is actually tougher than stone. At least it's not con uh, reinforced concrete. That would suck. That would toast suck. All right, we do want to check a few things out regarding the pipe bombs. Helps if we get rid of both of them. Oh, no, no, don't hit the dirt. Dirt is a non-factor. And this one. All right, now we should just be able to use the shovel, like so. Yes, as long as it's all dirt, we're good. Okay, then turn around. Let's bust the stuff out of here this quick. This I don't care about. This is nice and easy. it easy. This is what I like. I mean, it would be slower if I used a freaking 
stone shovel because that doesn't dig worth a damn. Not really. Okay. Almost done. And dig underneath so we can throw in frames. Okay, frame it up. And we'll frame the rest. Okay, I'll start from back here. Just get it all done. All right. I don't know why I like doing it up here, but I do. I like being on top. Don't judge me from the things I say. Judge me by my actions, which are just as bad. Just saying. All right. Upgrade them. Partially done, which is easy, simple work. Can you upgrade that? No. Hmm. It'd be nice if you could just upgrade uh, asphalt. It is a different concoction than concrete, so it makes sense, I guess. Uh, not that. No, wouldn't use a rebar frame for that. All right, and then throw that there. And there you go. For the most part, the flooring is done. All right, so what I want to do before we end this episode is I want to go grab some pipe bombs. I also want to drop some crap off. Basically, the dirt and the fiber I'm not using. Which is uh, dirt and this stuff I don't need here. Eggs I'll hold on to. Move the coveralls. Okay. And you can have the rest of the frames for the time being. Okay. And take the coal. I don't need that at the moment. To keep the iron on us. We can always use that. All right. Everything else is fine. Let's go in here and get a couple of pipe bombs. I should close that behind me. Go upstairs. I think I left the pipe bombs upstairs, correct? Assuming I did. Uh, Jace. All right, give me half these and half these. Okay, give me that. I haven't used pipe bombs, but we're going to test this real quick. Or you know what? I might just save that for the next episode because we're running out of time. All right. So we are running out of time, so I'm just going to quickly knock a couple of trees down and then uh, we'll save that for the next one. We'll start the episode off with the pipe bomb test. We'll do a couple of experiments. I wanted a little bit of wood anyways, so we can be ready to repair stuff. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is JD Sensei. This is Seven Days to Die. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. I will catch you in the next vid. Now, bye, guys.